Welcome back to the OpW Project and this is Michael your host and today we're gonna be reviewing about the Nilox Dock 12 full e-scooter review in English so stay tuned so if you are in Italy or in Europe why are you gonna be buying this Nilox Dock 12 what are the advantages and disadvantages of this e-scooter and because this is a full review we're gonna be looking at how to assemble it how fast it is and how it is in the real world but before anything else we're gonna be doing some fast unboxing of this so I'm looking crazy right now looking at this Nilox and then I'm just gonna fast forward it for you know for simple reasons like fast forward in it Well, if you are new to the channel and we're still waiting for the unboxing here, uh, make sure to, you know, subscribe to my channel. It's going to be helping me a lot. And, you know, you can hit the bell icon and like the video. And if Nilox is, you know, is uh, watching this and hearing this, maybe you can send me another one, you know, for another review for a thousand kilometers review. And I know you're going to be challenging Naples now in the final cup in Italy and you know Naples sucks so you know you're with me so yeah well the manual is there and it has seven languages and something like that but it doesn't help you know to put that steering rod arm to the stem or the shaft or the body and I had to figure it out there's a manual it's not great but it's there well there's a power brick it doesn't do anything but charge um, it is not bulky and it's lightweight so you know you have to ask yourself if you know it's doing the right thing but it's there well, there is an EU cord and depending on your region uh, you'll get one there's also an anti theft baby locks here in which if your Nilox 12 are you know get it, gonna be stolen it's gonna be stolen by you know crazy babies included is a cell phone holder which is um, wobbly and it does a great job also but you know it's wobbly and you know it's not stable but it's there you'll also get tools but amazingly enough it's not used for the assembly of the scooter maybe they sent you this because you're gonna be fixing this in the long run but yeah it's good that, the, that it's there and you'll get wrenches and allen wrenches and a screwdriver made from a third world country well if you're gonna be unboxing the scooter you know make sure to bring some you know scissors with you because you're just gonna be damaging it if you are using a knife so scissors is better than the knife in this case so when everything's finished you know just gonna raise the stem or the body or this shaft and then make sure to hold the arm because you know it's loose and then just remove the plastic lock that is you know holding the lock there and then just raise the other lock just like that and you know you need to have a better grip for this and then make sure it's you know it's tightened and then just return the plastic lock again so it's not gonna be loose now if you're in the handlebars don't ever 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 do what I'm doing I will just remove the screws right here and it's you know it's gonna be a horrible experience for me because you know it's hard to 
get it back and yeah pieces are falling apart so yeah don't remove don't ever ever remove that screw and it's because it's not you know included in the manual how to bring it back so yeah it's gonna be a problem for me but you know if you are if you know what you're doing it's gonna be simpler but for me for a first time or doing this it's gonna be horrible for you you know figuring this out remember when I told you that the user manual is you know not usable and the tools that are included are not used in the assembly well I'm holding the screwdriver from the third world and I don't know how to bring the screws back on the top of the arm and the shaft so yeah well if you see yourself doing what this guy is doing then you're doomed and also remember to align the handlebars like this one so everything is you know uh, facing in front of you because after you screw this up and tighten this you're not gonna be able to adjust it so yeah remember it well if you accidentally remove this one and this one well just like me this is the right you know orientation for that and in order to put it back you just have to put the you know align align it first of course then you have to put the screws from underneath from the bottom and of course you know you, know, you don't have to tighten this one yet so put it there and then just put the lock you know the, the moving lock at you know at the top but not like this one the trick is you have to you know raise the handle and like this one and then just tighten it up and then when it's tight enough like this one tight enough like this one michael yeah tight enough okay then okay michael just you know do some gym or, or something and then if it's tight enough you can just pull it back and then it will lock in place so don't forget to adjust your handlebars when you are doing this so that's it it's gonna be sturdy enough So the first time you have it, charge it for 8 hours first. And then after that 8 hours charge, charge it just for 4 hours. Don't let any water come inside of this socket. And if you can see, the power brick is red. When it turns green, it's full. Now we're gonna be going to the specs of this item, the Nilox Dock 12. But before that, I'm just gonna show you more of my videos. So enough of that, let's do some specs. So the first is the wheel is 12 inches. So yeah, I know, I know when people are asking, wow, is that 12 inches? And I said, oh yeah, humbly, yeah. 
and then they are gonna be asking 12 inches I'm just gonna tell them it's the circumference buddy and then they're just gonna say wow it's just the circumference man so enough of this you have 12 inches wheels the motor is 250 watts and as you can see right here the motor is at the back and you also get uh, disc brakes which is very helpful when stopping the problem is you have just one brake there's nothing in the front and you have a mudguard support so it won't be damaged or you know it won't be wobbly like in the other brands and you also have this clip which will be used when to transport this one and you're gonna be clipping it in here make sure to tighten this up or you would end up losing this hook and lastly if you have a lightweight load you can put it here but the maximum weight that is allowed here is 100 kilos so if you're 96 kilos you're you know you can take four kilos of materials you also get a non-slip material here that is used for skateboards but unfortunately it's not the plastic that you are seeing with the other brands the good thing about this is when you are gonna be replacing this it's just a sticker so if you're gonna be buying another sticker maybe buy the nurse and not the dog you also get very cute horn so this sound when you are passing by and they're gonna be hearing you beeping they're gonna be saying wow that's cute but when they see a middle-aged man riding on a kick scooter in a white world they're gonna be saying wow he's so cool and you also get two lights brake lights at the back and one in front for your headlights it does a pretty good job um, it's not that bright but it's not unusable also it's pretty good in my case to cut on costs they are using a plastic accelerator as you can see here at the left and they're using a screen um, a screen like this a plastic screen but it's okay because if it's get it gets damaged you can replace it for a cheaper price also and they included also the cell phone holder that is um, also cheap but it is usable it has a 30 kilometer range which in the real world maybe 20 maybe 25 but for now i'm just gonna be saying that if you lose a battery or, or if your battery is half empty you might as well go home if you are just in the three or five kilometer from your um, base point and because they cheap out on other materials you still have an advantage and these are a sturdier stand a sturdier neck or um, stem or body sturdier locks and uh, braided or you know protected cables right here well for me even though they are chipping out on some items or materials or accessories um, it is good to see that they are fixing the mistakes of the past brands wherein you don't have any support for your mud guards or the hook is flapping or you're gonna be losing it or the battery is like this one or you don't have a, a hook and you're gonna be um, buying it from the third party from a third party or something like that and the cables are just loose so everything that is here is appreciated because all of these are an upgrade from all of those brands with their mistakes in the past so is this worth a buy if you are looking for a new scooter here in Italy or in Europe well I've tested it in the grass and off-road and I've tested it with the cobblestones or uneven pavements and it's you know it's carrying me like you know it's a breeze so I think um, because this is a year 2020 scooter everything um, every mistake that is from the past is fixed but before the conclusion we should you know we should test it out if what the range is the real world test I'm using it in the city going uphill or something like that so yeah here it goes
I've tested this on a bridge and I'm gonna see if it's gonna be more than 25 kilometers because 25 kilometers per hour is the max of this scooter and as you can see here I am not speeding up it just went to 30 it's like an auto brake it will not um, let you um, into an accident it's gonna be stopping you this time I'm going up and as you can see here it's a slight um, uphill but it's too you know it's too hard for you to even bike here if you're not using a mountain bike so this one um, played better and um, reading like 18 kilometers per hour and the battery is you know flip-flopping from up and down like two bars so yeah um, it's uh, it's nice it's a nice thing to know that um, you're, it's gonna be taking you up without stopping or anything like that so great job so as a conclusion I'm recommending that uh, you can buy this if you have the money to buy this of course and it's now 499 euros but I think it's back to 599 but you get a cash back from the government if you are in Italy they're gonna be you know uh, refunding your 60% if you are eligible for it so what is this for this is for commuting in the city it's not for off-road and you can use this in a slight uphill but not in a 45 degree angle uphill and it's fast enough it's you know it's 15.5 uh, kilos so it's not that heavy and for me uh, the only problem is if I'm vlogging I cannot vlog because it only has one brake and it's on the left so I cannot hold my mono you know my mono stick or something like that or my camera or gimbal because you're gonna be accelerating at the right hand and then the left hand will um, use the brakes so what is this for just for city commuting and uh, for me I, I can recommend this for heavy persons because it, it, it is uh, 100 kilo um, maximum limit for the weight the lights are good um, there is support for for your mud guards and as you can see um, my wife is now 100 kilos with that bag the bag is so heavy because we are trying to uh, push this um, kick scooter to the limit so yeah so it accelerated better than uh, I would have expected and um, as you can see here I'm biking and I'm you know I'm paddling a lot and then my wife is just there just you know breezing because of the scooter so it helps if you are working and you are just um, like in the COVID-19 situation right now if you are just um, living near or in the vicinity of your work this is a perfect um, kick scooter or a transport vehicle but the problem is if it's um, raining it's not waterproof so you're gonna be having a problem with water and of course if you can see the uh, shaft or um, the stem there is a hole or in the cables um, go inside so that's a problem also because if the water or you know any uh, substance or dirt that comes in there it's gonna be rusty in the future or something like that that will weaken the body so for me um, this is not a shopping um, transport um, Thing that you can use um, when you are shopping because if you are you know if you are like me 96 kilos you're just gonna be getting four kilos of um, load um, because you're gonna be over maximizing your um, weight and it, this is good also for potholes because the potholes um, even though they are um, really big for other scooters this has 12 inches wheels and it helps getting over small potholes and off-roading with this one so if I were you and you have a budget and you need something like this one well I recommend this because you know uh, it fixed uh, most of the problems of the other scooters in the past and you got larger wheels you got uh, a lot of support so it's uh, you know everything is useful and they just cost cut for the techie stuff
that you are not be you're not going to be using anyways and if the replacements are so expensive the replacements of the tech here is so cheap so i think this is a scooter for the masses so this is michael from the opw project and thank you for watching this e-scooter review of doc nilox 12 or nilox doc 12 whatever thank you